our test of generic first name brand products continues this morning. We're going to talk about Stephanie's products. You went through bath products and had a family test some of these. Yes, I gave three bath products to the Gunter family. Lotion, okay. Q-tips, and hand soap. They had five days to use and test them all. And you're about to see the reactions as we reveal whether they chose a brand name or generic. Do you get drawn right to the name brand first? Of course, I do. I, I, because that's something that you trust. It's loyalty. Francine Gunter is a busy working mom with two young sons, eight-year-old Hayden and 14-year-old Dylan. The boys are very particular, believe it or not, when it comes to Q-tips. You had the brand name. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Hayden had the generic. Wow. Wow, Wow! because I didn't find it any different. But mom did find a big difference when it came to the lotions. This was the name brand. It was. This is generic. What was the difference between the two? It was actually the consistency. This one was a little bit more watery. It was less absorbent. This one was perfect. It just went on. It was thick. And finally, as you might imagine, the Gunters also use a lot of hand soap at home. I put them in containers so you couldn't tell the difference. Which color soap did you like? Pink. There you go. I see you like the green. All right, you ready to find out which one was which? Yeah. All right, the green is generic. Oh, and that wow. was brand name. That was one of our brands. Um, which? Why did you like that one? Because it smelled really good when I put it on my hand and wash it. It smelled really good. And why did you like that one? Um, I just felt like this one after I was done washing my hands, it felt cleaner rather than that one. I actually felt there was no difference. So it is smelled the same. Um, the consistency was the same, so it wouldn't matter to me except for price. Again, yeah. It all comes down to the bottom dollar. It's, it really does when you have a family. And speaking of the bottom dollar, get this: the brand name lotion cost eight ninety nine. The generic cost six twenty nine. That's a difference of two dollars and ten cents. The brand, or two dollars and seventy cents, I should say. The brand name hand soap cost a dollar ninety eight. The generic cost ninety nine cents. That's a difference of almost a dollar, and they said they didn't really see that big of a difference. Mm -hmm. And the brand name Q-tips cost a dollar ninety nine. The generic cost a dollar twenty nine. A difference of seventy cents. So if you bought all the brand name items, you would spend twelve dollars and ninety six cents, nearly thirteen bucks. But if you bought all the generic, you would have spent eight fifty seven. That's a savings of four dollars and thirty nine cents. So oh, in the end, it really does come down to preference. Oh, absolutely. With the lotion, but. I I don't know about you. I would agree with Francine. I tend to go for the brand name lotions because there is a consistency difference between the products. Yeah, absolutely. Lotion is probably the only thing, though. I often go to the the generic just because it's, it's cheaper. cheaper. Hand soap, I would probably buy generic mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah. Paul, there you go. You can figure.